on May the 12th, King George VI, his Queen and the Princesses Elizabeth and Margaret come home after a hundred days spent in South Africa. Ten years ago, on the same date, Albert, Duke of York, was crowned King George VI. He came to the throne when the traditional idea of monarchy was changing. As Vanguard brings him back to Portsmouth, the people wait to salute him. Nelson's victory dresses ship according to centuries-old custom, the royal family receives Portsmouth's civic welcome at the Guildhall. It was fitting that they should return to the city from which they sailed three months ago at what was regarded in informed circles as a vital period in the history of South Africa and the Commonwealth. This significance has not been lost to the British people or to a watching world. In South Africa, they traveled 11,000 miles. They visited more than 50 places, they shook hands, estimates say, with no fewer than 25,000 people. And now, they are home. <laughs> From Portsmouth to London. At Waterloo, waiting to welcome them back to the capital, was the Premier, Cabinet Ministers, members of the Diplomatic Corps and in the streets outside, thousands of people. Many who watched had thronged London streets ten years ago to the day on the occasion of the coronation. Those ten years, which included a Second World War, had brought the Crown and the people very close together. They began here in 1937 in Westminster Abbey, when the King and Queen accepted one of the most arduous tasks ever to fall upon two people. When Archbishop Lang performed the ancient ritual of the coronation, for King George and Queen Elizabeth, it was an act of dedication. Here and in the years between, the royal family have created a totally new conception of the modern meaning of the word monarchy. In war and peace, in their public and private lives, they have personified in quiet, unspectacular fashion the spirit of the British people. The visit to South Africa, undertaken on the advice of the government of the day, is a further example of the practical value of the crown. What it has done is to reforge the constitutional links between the members of the Commonwealth. The world believes that Britain can stay a great power only by remaining the hub of a great family of nations. Those nations have become self-conscious and self-governing. Their chief remaining bond is their king. So it was ten years ago, and after the intervening years, Thousands still wait, still acclaim, and still feel the same affection for a hard-working royal family. Here is the same scene again after ten years. What country in the world could say as much? King and Queen and their daughters are home again. One more service has been completed. Their people welcome them back. <laughs>